Uh, editor, throw that old uh, suicide hotline number up and also the uh, trigger warning at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> Thanks. One. Hey! Oh. What up, y'all? So Norm is coming at you a little bit of Euphoria, season two, episode six, six. A Thousand oh, Little yeah. Trees of Blood. A thousand Little Trees My name's blood. Chris Johnson, a.k.a. Nuisance 88. <sighs> My name is Marquetta. This is Navi, a.k.a. Nerdy Nuff. I am Pat, a.k.a. Pat Lander. There you go. Pat Anders joining Woo! us. Yeah. Jiraiya's joining us. Half, half dressed. I'm like half of Jiraiya. Jiraiya's getting more Way too much. There's way too much Jiraiya shit to put on. Um, I'm not. I'm not ready and I yet. Got hot. I'm not ready yet either. I will be Palpatine. Yes. Do Are it. You? Ooh. Um, this episode will Maddie get violent? Yes. Yes, violent. please. I want her to get violent. Y'all are crazy. We need the drama. <laughs> we do need all the drama because I, they cannot just cut it off and not tell us what happened. Like we need oh all God. the backstory. I do happened. feel bad for Cassie, but she kind of dig herself a hole. She fucked. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't okay. I need some hair pulling. Absolutely risked it for the biscuit. <laughs> Was it worth yes. it? The answer is probably not. No. Probably you think not. Nate's a good enough lover that it, it no. warrants all of this? Uh, he can't be. All this stress. Mm-mm. I mean, guys, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if Nate is just good or is just one of those things that's forbidden that's causing Cassie to go Ooh. down. No, it is all. definitely that for her. Yeah. The but forbidden. Either jitsu. way, she fucked it up. The forbidden jitsu. Well, listen here, y'all. No, one, this is not a market substitute. Support us over on Patreon. Two, subscribe to the normies. You guys are already there. Well, this is going to end up on the internet eventually. Yeah. yeah. Hey, guys, if you're not supporting us on <laughs> Patreon, you know what? This was already on Patreon months, months ahead. Yes. So you can support us there. If not, like, subscribe, comment. We appreciate all kind of love that you give us. We do read those comments. We try to stay away from it, but we do, do read them. So we'd love to read some good comments. So share us, love us, be kind, be good out there. Do it. Do it. Everybody All right, let's get it. All right. Oh, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Is the audio checked? I'm pretty sure. It is. I checked All right. it. Cool, cool. Okay. Let's do this. I'm so happy. I'm scared. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. I think yeah, eight is a good it. number. Yeah, I like 10. Yeah, yeah. It's divisible by two. So eight is divisible eight. by two I know, as well. I know, I know, I know. Oh, I want to see the, the play that Lexi was working on. Oh, yeah. How long have you been with Nate Jacobs? That is not what she said. She just... Oh. All right. I guess, yeah, I think... I'm hoping she runs to Ollie. And we'll see. Takes we'll see. next steps. Does it hurt to open it? Oh, it looks like that. She might have seizures. Oh, her hands are cramping? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, God, that's a huge ass booger. Fucking withdrawals? God, this yeah. seems awful. Yes. And that's why she was running away from it. Oh, I guess she came home, huh? She came home? Oh. Yeah. Oh, these are probably fentanyl withdrawals, too. That's probably even worse. Well, I think she just got straight morphine last night, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep. That was very intense. God, look at the sunlight hitting her. Looks so good. Symbolism, she's coming to light. Oh, I was just saying, you know, because it's shot on film, it looks really nice. <laughs> Please, baby, please. Oh, my God. I hope she... Took Gia somewhere else. Can Gia stay with somebody for a minute? Once again, who sees this and thinks that it's glorifying drugs? People who don't watch it. You know what I like about hospitals? They don't need to know how good of a person you are in order to take care of you. People like that are rare. She's there. My mom is one of those rare people. But maybe that's because she's my mom. I don't remember everything I said to my mom. I wish I could say I didn't mean any of it. I'm sure most people would say the world would be a better place without me. I don't disagree. Flesh bait. Ali is also one of those rare people. He's just a fucking crackhead wife beater. I bet his daughter said that. Even I kind of said that. That I regret. And even if I got clean today, no one would forget the trauma of me not being clean. Damn. But I really regret what I said to Ali. Reducing someone's life to a moment, punishing them for it. That's what cops do. It's actually what everyone does. How long does this take? Like week, two weeks? Mm. Especially cold turkey. I want to look up after what our actual side effects are. Oh, Mark is about to buy this shirt. Oh, she's doing better. Got it, but that was rough though. Hello? It's, uh, it's Rue. What do you want, Rue? Oh. Um, I just wanted to uh, call you and tell you that, um, I just wanted to call you and tell you that I'm sorry for what I said. And I really regret it. I'm sorry. Listen to me. I forgive you. 
do. You do? I do. Why do you know that I mean it? Because the hour is certain to come, so we must forgive graciously. Thank you. She was punishing herself. I mean, I thought she also couldn't bring herself to. Oh my it. god. Moments like this make me tear more than moments of loss. You look like a cat coughed your ass up. Ali <laughs> <laughs> oh. said he would only stop by if he could cook dinner for the whole family. Oh my god. You're his sponsor. I am. A better question is, uh, what are you doing right now? <laughs> you help me get on chopping duty. Oh, I can help. Keep your stank. Withdraw diarrhea ass on the way from my food. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. In the other room. Okay, dang. Thank you. Sorry. Bye bye. Bye bye to you too. Bomb dressed up. She did. Been washing that ass. Okay. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They know I'm right. <laughs> For as tough as it's been on real, I'm sure it's been hard on you. I swear I've been in a kitchen exactly like this. It's a good sized kitchen. It's okay to be angry at her. I'm not sure that helps anyone. Helps you. I think it'll actually be good for you. I'm fine. I didn't say I didn't believe you. Oh, God. Now, Nate didn't know what happened with Cassie and Maddie. Of course not. Because when he exercises, he puts his phone on silent. I do that too, but sometimes Cassie, I know. Cassie, Cassie, mm. talk to you. You answered it last night and it was crazy. So. woke up that morning feeling fantastic. <laughs> Nate had finally won. Ain't nobody gonna clean up this fucking piss. Are y'all all kidding me? His mom seemed to be handling it well. His brother, on the other hand. What is she so happy about? She didn't like your dad. Is that obvious? And she's got a cigarette and mimosa. It doesn't look like she's happy. And red wine? Yeah, it looks like she's just, you know, fucking... Drowning it? It wasn't yeah. the 38 missed calls from Cassie that concerned him. God, it's the one from Maddie. They said, you're dead. It was the fact that there were zero calls from Maddie. Maddie really dumped his ass. Part of the reason Oh no, was don't do it. As much as he did is because she was loyal. If anyone crossed her, she'd bury them. I hope she does it. Oh, I hope she does it. God. Please do it. That would be good drama, please. Where does it go? You know when a kid shoots up a school and they go to interview the parents and the parents are like, we had no idea. He seemed like totally normal. <laughs> Everyone watching is like, you're a fucking idiot. That's how I feel, but with Cassie. <laughs> I think I actually want to murder her. I get it. Please. Without, like, actually do it. Oh, don't do it, Maddie. Like a grizzly murder. Do it. And that shocks the nation. Come to the dark side, God. girl. I think that's more than understandable. A cat? cat? Do you mean do Pat? Not? Slow plotted revenge. <laughs> Gosh, she's on a call while they would eat them. Cat. <laughs> Sorry, right. actually I haven't said hello yet, so I just figured I'll greet you like I normally greet you. Oh. He's going through this thing. So what are we doing here? Going on a date. Oh yeah? Because on the phone you just kind of made it sound like, like it was an emergency. <laughs> like you asked if I could cancel rehearsal. I... Want to break up with you. I'm thinking... Here at this date for some reason. About us and, and our relationship. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I have a brain disorder. <laughs> What kind of brain disorder? I'm confused. I think it's terminal. Oh my god. Bah. Hospital visits and... Girl. Maybe I have to get out of school. Damn. Oh my Are you god, cat. You see it on your face. I feel like you're not lying to me. Yep. That's sick. Yep, it is cat. To be honest, the fact that you think I would even lie about something that awful means there's a big problem in this relationship, which is like literally what I was trying to say in the beginning. No, no. In the beginning, I feel like you started to break up with me and then you pivoted to telling me that you got like a terminal brain illness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's wow. your experience. He's very smart. That's the experience. The experience. Kat, you don't want to be in a relationship with me. <laughs> <laughs> just have like the courage to actually be honest. What are you doing right now? It just like feels like shit. I'm literally trying to break up with me. Oh, ah, no. It's some sort of like manipulation tactic. You oh. learned on some fucking incel Reddit forum. What is yeah. wrong with you? They made her the worst. That was pretty quick. All right, well, you're right. You didn't live up that. to my expectations because I did expect you to at least be honest. I am being honest. All right. I don't even think you believe that, but you know, that's besides the point because I think we need to break up. Wow, well, I didn't see that one coming. Oh, my God, Kat. I'm going to slap her. Bye.
Ethan, good on him. You deserve so Very much. Good for right? You deserve so much. God, Ethan. Oh my gosh, she has a <laughs> basket full of knives? What? <laughs> what? Your sister's very emotional. <laughs> what if she finds knives in the bushes? In the bushes. Go. What on top of a cabinet? I mean, in I mean, the bushes. She's tall enough. She's not what a fucking two-year-old. There's a Michael Myers out there. He just get all done. Right. <laughs> he, <laughs> the knives aren't going to invite him in. That's, how you, invite, no, 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 that's Michael, how you invite Michael Myers on Halloween. You put a, bu like a basket of a knives. A bush of knives. The knives talks to him. Mm, yeah, okay. Well, Lexi's starting to have second thoughts about putting on her play. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because it's all clearly inspired by Cassie. Uh, that time I beat Nate's ass at that party. Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> How they hanging out? So cute. I'm doing too well. I'm worried that she's going to see the play and then she's going to freak out. Everybody gets their feelings hurt. Some people need to get their feelings hurt sometimes. <laughs> it's like about a group of girlfriends grow up and grow apart. Stand by me vibe. Come on, now I've watched that film like 50 times. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, they should be it's together. Like my grandma has it on DVD. Should we watch it? Oh. Netflix and chill! <laughs> Girl, he's not coming back. You are sick! You look like a clown. I mean, she is a clown. Whatever you do, don't marry anyone you meet in high school. <laughs> you don't plan on it. I used to be fun. Too bad Cal was what you wanted. Don't take your anger out on me. Why would I be angry at you? Because you're an angry guy. Huh? When I was angry, I had a pretty good reason to be angry. Hey, look, you hated your father. That's as good a reason as any. My anger was directed toward him. It's not just towards anyone. Yeah, I don't know about that. No, it's not. It's fucking specific. Okay. If you tell him now that this is the, it will just. Just poking the bitch. Need another bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all just all gonna sit around and drink and pretend like you're happy? It's one thing to do what you did, and it's another thing to pretend you're all innocent and it's no big deal. I'm just pointing out the facts. Well, I'm pointing out the principle. <laughs> What's a millionaire match? Build a doghouse <laughs> and live in it. No, I just mean Maddie's never gonna fucking talk to me again. I was, I was just terrified you were gonna get her pregnant. <laughs> She's the type that would keep it just to spite you. Yeah, you know. Mm. What about the blonde girl? Oh, it's complicated. Why? Um, she's Maddie's best friend. <laughs> Y'all are all trash. <laughs> trash bags. Who's the cunt now? But when you grabbed her after that and you like pulled her ass off, I was thinking that's my boy. Oh my What's wrong God. with y'all? This house has got to smell like oh, sweat, booze, and cigarettes. You didn't have to go so far as to choke her. Oh, oh set those healthy boundaries, come on. Mm. At that moment, I, I wanted to choke the girl too. Yeah, but my point is I didn't fucking choke her. Yes, you Don't did. Don't so upset that you end up choking me, because I won't drop the charges. I'll fucking clean house. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What is happening? They also wonder the same thing. Oh my, oh my god. god! A corkscrew ain't gonna cut it. Oh. Well, she's right. Well. <laughs> Thinking about the bowl of knives out in the backyard. When did you start sleeping together? New Year's. I, I, don't, I don't know the exact date. New okay, well, Year's. It was before after New Year's. It was on. This is windows of time. I find that hard to believe. Yeah. God, Alexa, you're making me feel worse. Do you even know why yeah. Costco did what he did? No, do you? Yeah, I do. I don't fucking trust you. I know one does. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no one does. <laughs> I used to like Cassie. Yeah, I was cheating on you. <laughs> Did you? No. That's a lie. What was the question? The dad did you know? Did you know Dad was cheating on you? Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't started dating. You're a drunk. Mm, what? You don't want a stepfather? What about one who's your age? Shut the fuck up! You're fun. acting like a fucking teenager. Why is it? Why is it that you only have the bad qualities of your father <laughs> and none of the good qualities? <laughs> right, so Cal, Cal's a fucking saint now. That's, that's, that's not what I said. That's literally what you fucking said. No, it's literally, literally not. not. Somehow, some way, we raised a child who's even more deeply flawed. <laughs> fucking dumbass dad didn't believe in therapy, so self-reflection's off the table. It's just... And Marcia, you wow. just let it roll for the last 18, 22? Oh, such a sweet little baby. Oof. Oh, well, 
That's a long time ago. Uh, somewhere like around 12? eight or nine, you just, you, you darkened. When he saw the DVDs? Did a baseball hit him in the head? I was trying to figure out how things ended up the way they ended up. That's all. Forgetting. So healthy. I never said you didn't have any self-respect. You don't have to. I can fucking feel it. P quit coming in here and yelling. Go to yeah. sleep. <laughs> Bucky. She does. <laughs> Call the oh, priest right now. God. He did, however, care about what happened to his dad's business. Or the son of a pedophile. What is that? Being the man of, enjoy being the man of the house. He wasn't hmm. It's not like you could argue that out loud. Play is the last thing Nate needs. Well, Jules, yeah, we haven't looked. We heard. I don't want to talk about Jules and Elliot. Fuck them. Just go back to Maddie. Damn. Yeah. She was also depressed. Imagine poop. Heartbroken. I was thinking Maria. Oh, I was thinking Dragon Ball. Oh. The camera. Yep. I feel like we should get drunk and go for a swim. Oh. Sure. I yeah. think they're gonna. Okay. Yeah, I think that's definitely something. She because did. she would know, right? Like, that, how long has that camera been there? You want to hear something more horrible? Who drinks with teenagers? What? When I was in college, I kind of did the same thing to one of my best friends. You fucked one of your girlfriend's boyfriends? Yeah. You did this to multiple girlfriends? No. Same yeah. <laughs> Why? Because he gave me just the right amount of attention at the wrong time. Venn diagram for that? No. I was literally... The girl that everyone and their mothers used to say no one would ever settle down and marry her and God help whoever did. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not a mess, but I do love a fight. Oh, it's <laughs> In the moment? It's fucking amazing. Oh. I just don't think my brain is wired that way. Oh my God. If you were still dating guys like this in your 40s, we'd be having a very different conversation, but you're 18 years old. Who wow. gives a shit? <laughs> Oh, I love them. You two nerds gonna make out over the fucking song Stand By Me? Because that would be hilariously cute. Darling, darling, stand. I don't Bye. want to see you. I want to see uh, the key. I think, oh. I think he's going to shoot somebody. I want to see who he's going to shoot. Why would he shoot somebody? Well, he got a gun, don't he? Yeah, to intimidate somebody. Probably shooting somebody. I don't know if going to help his situation any. Mm -hmm. uh, but anger. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's going she gonna to hurt Cassie. I mean, what could be more hurtful than she's been like, I'm done with you. Yeah. Physically hurting her, sure, but yeah, fuck that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think she's like, done with it. Cassie has nothing to do. Yeah. Got that DVD. Stand by. Oh, I love it so much. Oh. At least fucking touch. Stand Thank you. Would you yeah. like to hold my hand? Yeah. Oh my god. I don't know how this. Oh, so cute. Doesn't look I was thinking. Oh, she's you know. there? Oh my god, still. She hates it. I mean, she's fucking safe. She better be thankful. She's doing crypto. How long has she been there? Oh my god, <gasps> who the fuck is that? Oh. Cluster. It hurts her boyfriend. Are we the fuck up? Oh my god, oh my god. what's happening? I'm scared. Oh no, 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 pay attention to your cameras, man. Oh, I think he's going outside because he saw it. He was on his phone. Anyone's gonna be. He knocked on my door asking all kinds of questions. What questions? Questions about mouse. What did you say? Nothing. He fucking rolled. Are you cooperating? I do not know if that is the right word, all right, but I'm helping him out. That's what that means? Oh my god! I'm gonna be coming over soon and I'm gonna be talking about some things and I need you to stay the fuck out of it. I think he's smart. Who? Astra, he's gonna fuck something up. Uh, he's just, I mean, he's just taking a piss and playing on his phone. Yeah, no. he hasn't looked at the camera. That is oh, a nice and goofy hey. jacket though. It's raining. I'm gonna take a shower. She was out for way too long, Ash. Ash. Question her. I think she needs to say something. Come she ain't on. gonna say nothing. She's gonna save her own ass. This fool about to come in here and ran a wire. I, I hope Fed's just be like, what the fuck are you talking about? If your play is anything like Stand By Me, you're not gonna have no problems. <laughs> what are you gonna do with this DVD? <gasps> oh, he's just gonna rob her. He has a gun. To rob her? Yeah, to rob her. To rob her? Yeah, to oh. take Get the DVD. DVD. Oh. 
Yeah. The, but a long not, time ago by now I should have said something, you fucking sick fuck. I think he's gonna try to fuck up before he robs her. What? God, that's that's disgusting. Would be rape there. Doubt that's yeah. gonna happen. Well, I think they're gonna fuck because they're you know mm. together. They're gonna get back together because of this. They're crazy people. Yeah, I think she's gonna. Well, we'll see. Dude, who wears underwear with their pajamas? What's wrong with you? Crazy. I know. I do. I do exactly. Crazy. When you go crazy. to sleep. Can you imagine if I was sitting here with a gun, forcing you to accept my apology? You're scaring me. It's kind of the point. I humiliated you. It's over. What is a DVD? How do you know she didn't make copies? Yeah. She's like, that's what you obviously would do, right? Yep. Your brother's trying to accidentally shoot his own face clean off. And he's keeping his finger on the trigger. Come on, bro. Why do you think my dad likes to film himself fucking? You're on camera? That's what it says. She has a camera there? No. Nah. I don't know why she would. Maybe it's just because a little. Because it says smile? Yeah, I know, I don't but know I'm saying like maybe it's just a little silly thing to put on a wall. I'm going to need that disc now. Ready? Lie. I don't have it. There we go. Oh, we're playing Russian roulette? What's wrong with you? Hope those are all blinks. Absolute fuck, I hate you. Stop it. Yeah. Oh. You are a goddamn oh. idiot. <laughs> hey, this is what your mom was talking about? Right? Like, <laughs> like, I'm not angry. Yeah, like, this is what she was saying. Oh my Lee, god. Lee! You're disgusting! Oh. Are they gonna get back together? No. no. They better not. No, I think Maddie. Uh, <laughs> after someone puts a gun on you, I don't know you can be with them again. Hey, have you been traumatized recently? Cause... Thanks. I'm sorry. Oh my god, what? no! I'm sorry. There's no bullets in the gun. Nobody cares. Yeah. Nobody cares. It's not the point. <sighs> well, I this... am like, so sick. Well, this was a sure way for Maddie to never get back with yeah. him. I think she realized he was toxic, but not. this is a different kind of toxic scene. Oh no, it's fucking nuts. If someone's willing to, oh, just like daddy. They're exactly the same, that's why the they hate each other. The level of, like, just lack of self-awareness is astounding. So how do we destroy the disc, kids? Burn it. Microwave. Microwave? Oh, burning it works too. Can you just not break it? Mm, I'd be worried. Someone will duct tape it together or something. And it will work? I mean, I don't fucking know what crazy people do. I just melt that bitch. No. He's not gonna shoot her, right? Um, I don't mm, know. No, he's not going to he's shoot going anyone. To give her yeah, he's, he's gonna blackmail her for something. Though. He already did blackmail her. Um, it's gonna be more. Good job. Yeah, take some things with you. Does nobody know umbrellas? What? Kids don't have umbrellas. It's good to see you. Can't say the same. I know you hate me. Mm hmm. What do you want? First, to apologize. I'm not interested. I know. But you are going to be interested in the second thing. Unfortunately for you, you're going to have to hear my apology first. Fine. Okay. Uh, sure. I'm sorry for everything that I've done to you. Let's not be specific. I found out about you and my dad from uh, from this desk. You don't that's know. Huh. Fucked up. I thought I'd give it to you and. And you've seen it. Yeah. Does he know you're giving this to me? No, he would fucking kill me. Is this like the? Only copy, or? I mean, it's the only one that I know of, yeah. Is he actually doing a nice thing? Why are you giving this to me? Yeah, yeah. So it's good. better if we just keep it a mystery. What, did you become like a good person? Absolutely not, no. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do to get it. He, at least he's honest. I came out here with a box cutter in my sleeve. You know, in, in case there was a chance I might have to slit your throat. I'm gonna go, okay? Everything I ever said was true. Oh, he does like her. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. Well, she Ugh. came out unharmed. I'm, I'm. So why? Mixed feelings. Is this a ploy to gain Jules's trust? No, I, I mean, I, I want to. Because the DVD benefits him if it's completely destroyed forever. Yeah. Let's see. Wait, is he calling Cassie? Maddie. No, that was a different. Yeah, oh. that was a different bed. Oh my God, Nate. Pack a suitcase. What? Get your place in town. You stay at my house. Love you. This guy's a loser. What? Pack a suitcase? You're gonna be back in two episodes. Yeah, you're gonna like what? Go to school from there? <laughs> this show's hilarious. 
And the mom's not doing anything about it. I mean, is she gonna listen? She has to let her make her mistakes. Yeah. I will whoop that kid, bro. Take the belt off and start beating that ass. Yep, that's gonna solve it. And she won't just leave when you're not there. I feel like she's gonna die. Why, Nate? Why? Nate's like, I need somebody. She makes me feel good. Where are her parents? So well, her mom's just like, well, she works a lot. Yeah. I know, but. And then her dad is also working. Like, I think the same was only that. She shouldn't be alone right now. Cassie, you're a fucking dumbass. I can't stand you. Damn. Marsha, you absolutely ain't shit. Your son's like, hey, I'm moving my girlfriend in. I'm literally not asking you. I'm like, bitch, I pay the fucking rent. You can get the fuck out. Yeah. You fucking kidding me? It's my yeah. house. And he's 18. Get a credit card, bye. I mean, she also, I don't think she has a job and Kyle's a uh, real estate company pays for the house, so. Yeah, that's his part already paid off anyways. I thought he was making chili. He has a restaurant. No, no, no. he has a real estate. He's a real estate guy. The chili oh. thing was just, just like hobby. a yeah. fucking like fun neighborhood. Uh, he's not a restaurant. Cassie, you're so stupid. Wait, Cassie didn't let her, let him kiss. No. I mean, she moved in with him. Yeah, she moved in. It's still gonna happen. You're so dramatic, girl. I'm so confused by this. I don't know how to feel. I don't. I mean, she's just. Like, a, she's I like she's just as to toxic too. So toxic. She's just as toxic. The boat, yeah. <sighs> Is it the actual video? Are you about to get back into this shit? So you think you hit rock bottom? Yes. That yeah, mama look good. Mm -hmm. Go to rehab, get clean, then come back and apologize. So you want to get clean? How do you feel about that? If it's it's real, then great. Gia, come on. I mean, Gia has a right to say that. What's wrong with her? I not believe that. I think she needs all of our support. I don't think it's a question of support. You think she'll get clean? Nah. She said it's like a 5% chance, right? Where's the hope in that? The hope is what Rue has to find. Cake. <laughs> <laughs> Very intense dinner. Let Rue be Rue. Mm -hmm. And shower that little one with love. She's been waiting on it. You mind if I sleep in your bed tonight? Broad ass daylight outside. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> fucking 2 p.m. <laughs> and we did taking a nap together. It's probably a summer where it's at like 9.30 still sun out. I think it's for filming purposes. Because they're shooting on film and... You know, ISOs and such. Mm. Looks good. I feel like I don't know anything about your life anymore. I'll tell you when you get back. Nate. Don't fuck it up. Seriously. Mm -hmm. I think mainly just opiates. But I was hoping to bring her in as soon as possible. But she needs to be in an inpatient hospital. Please, I am begging you. Please Fucking afford it. I know. Jesus. Damn. Damn. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so intense. Uh, editor, throw that old uh, suicide hotline number up and also the uh, trigger warning at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> Thanks. I got it. Can I? You got it? I just did it all. You know, I, I just wanna, I wanna look up what are the actual side effects yeah and how long does it last how long does withdrawal last withdrawal fun fact life-threatening condition you can die from quitting for real you can yep damn same with alcohol too um, they don't talk about that that often now um, stomach cramps vomiting diarrhea muscle aches sweating man so it's not that how does that kill you um, like I your mean, fever has to go up to kill you i can see that the physical things will kill you, but also uh, mentally, I'm pretty sure it absolutely wrecks your brain. The one person I knew who went through a withdrawal literally thought he was going crazy. Yeah, withdrawals can last up to several weeks, depending on which drug you took and how long you took it. You may feel very ill, but you're probably not in medical danger. Withdrawal isn't easy, but there are things you can do to help to cope with the symptoms. Okay, so we should just assume that... Um, what does he say? Her, week. Yeah, that it took longer for her to go to withdrawals, considering that she how took morphine... Yeah. She was taking fentanyl. She was taking <sighs> all harder drugs that her withdrawal was just that much intense. But like mentally too, and I know it's not, I, I didn't see anything about that, but the person I know who was going through withdrawals was literally like, didn't know what was happening, thought he was just going crazy. Yeah. Like was 100% convinced, like I'm losing my mind. 
and his mom was a nurse and she knew what was happening. He uh, he got like an injury and was just on like uh, the medicine, like the fucking painkillers and didn't know until he got home and was like, fuck, I'm going crazy. Like, what the fuck's happening? His mom was a nurse and didn't tell him and just like let him ride it out. What? Yeah, and then afterwards, his mom was like, you just went through withdrawals. And he was like, why didn't you tell me? And she was like, if I told you, you probably just would want to start using to stop the withdrawals. But so he, you had to get through it. But how did he not know? Was he like accidentally addicted to drugs? Yeah, because oh. uh, he, he got like a he had like a drug. really no. I think he had like a morphine drip. They had like a really bad injury, like crazy sports injury, like oh, one of the only ones in bad. the entire state for this to ever have happened to. And in the hospital, he was getting like the drip to go to sleep, and like yeah. he pressed a button. So he was like, "Yeah, I was just hitting a button and going to sleep." He's like, "I never felt high." You know what I mean? He didn't know he was getting and addicted to it. And the doctor didn't tell them, but like, hey, don't do too much of it. I mean, it, don't tell it. me not to do too much and give me the button. That's, How am I that's, supposed that's, to That's, that's, that's just stupid on the doctors. I don't know what they... I mean, he was also given the diagnosis that he wasn't going to walk again, and, and he figured out how to fucking walk in like six weeks or something like that. So crazy-ass injury. Uh, they gave him who knows how they were regulating the drugs or why they decided to give him that amount. And yeah, it is fucked up. But because of that, end up having withdrawals, literally didn't fucking know. Literally yeah. thought he was like going crazy and dying. And then like a few days later, found out that his mom was like, yeah, those are withdrawals. I'm like, now that you know. And he was like, well, fuck. Don't do it again. I'm glad you wouldn't <laughs> tell me because like at that point, like you would have. I mean, what? How many phone calls can you make before you literally find a heroin dealer? Like if you if it's that bad for you, if you don't fucking know. So I don't know. That's crazy. That's, but that's yeah, insane. to see her going through that shit is absolutely yeah. gut wrenching. But that was good to know that she came back home. Mm-hmm. Um Right, like either or, like she didn't decide to just stay on the streets. She actually, in the, she, um, she exhausted all her avenue, and mm-hmm. then it's like, okay, home it is where I have to go because her mom will take care of her. Yeah, because she's a selfless mom. I yeah. wonder what happened with, uh, the situation with the drug dealers that she took the drugs from. Oh, she still has to figure that yeah, out. I think in the yeah. next two that, episodes. Yeah, because I don't think they're just gonna lie low. Maybe that will be something for season three. Well, yeah. or maybe just like the last two or something Fizz can help her with. Um, if I was Fizz, I would not help her out. Leslie's getting pushed up against a wall here with not being able to get her into rehab and being 100% convinced that she's going to kill herself. Mm-hmm. And even but, Ali I mean, was what like, is the qualification even, for get in the withdrawal? Yeah. I, we don't, I don't I have no idea, but they don't mean whatever qualification is. And even with Ali being like, hey, let Rue be Rue and give all the love you have to the little one, I think is even him being like, the only person that can help her out of this is herself. And mm-hmm. if she chooses not to do it, then that's going to be on her. And, like, if you give Rue all this attention and neglect Gia, like, who knows? Gia could be the next Rue. Yep. And just being like, it feels like triage where he's like, she might be too far gone. And the only thing we can do is cross our fingers and hope and hope she pulls it out and give her the support we can. But, like, mm-hmm. focusing on Gia, which yeah, is shitty because, like, if you're Leslie, how can you? Yeah. How can you give up on the kid who clearly needs this attention? And I know that Gia needs it too, but, like, Rue's in trouble. How can you not try to help somebody while they're in trouble? At what point in time do you decide that you're going to, like, full stop? Yeah. I don't know. It's, yeah, I hear you. And it's, you're right. Rue has to be the one to go to say, like, I want to go to rehab. And I think it did felt like she wanted to because there was no her being narrator was saying something in the because before we have heard her before whenever she was like oh I'm going rehab I'm not gonna stay clean yeah. like she said it and in this one she didn't so I um I wanna believe that she wants to go to rehab she has hit rock bottom that was literally her rock bottom she was running on the streets she was going from house to house and nobody wants to accept her so she did hit rock bottom and that's what Ali said that she's not gonna get better until that happens yeah um, what about that bojack thing where he's like you always think you hit rock bottom and it turns out there's a rock bottom beneath that mm-hmm. like and not to be not to be nitpicking on what rue could and could not be doing but she literally hasn't chose to prostitute herself she hasn't no. severely hurt anybody she hasn't robbed anyone at gunpoint no. yet like unfortunately i do think there's other rock bottom barriers to break you get to decide i think in your own life where your rock bottom is hopefully this is it for her because yeah. if she chooses to go lower like who knows what's down in the fucking yeah. abyss yeah. I yeah, mean, I mean, but yeah. she still did a lot of damage in her life. Like, I don't know that her relationship with Jules is repairable. Mm-mm, I, I don't think, so. think her relationship with Elliot is repairable. She just met Elliot. Yeah, but I mean, they were kind of. If Ali's able, but they, to they were forgive. drug friends too. They were drug yeah. friends. I think they'll be able to forgive her. Plus, if Ali, if someone like Ali was able to forgive her, like he, she was 
probably like the worst to Ali. But Ali is an adult. And Ali, Ali also Ali knows. He is somebody who, yeah, exactly. He was been through the same thing, so he has more, I think, room for forgiveness. Mm. He's been yeah. where Ru's at. Yeah. And he and he's also Christian, and I think that's why no, he's not. Muslim. Oh, Muslim. Yeah, like, yeah, he, yeah. He's a religious man, and I think one of the I think one of the steps for NA or AA is like you need to have a faith. And I think that's what Rue was struggling because she doesn't believe in religion. And Ali was like, you just need to have a faith uh, because faith is essentially what helps you kind of, um, I think it's one of those steps that it helps. And I, I think I mean, she I made think a good point. Like at least they are able to forgive. Like, you know, they believe in forgiveness. Whatever religion yeah, you are, you believe in forgiveness. Forgive herself, I think, mostly. Yeah. I, I don't know if I think can. a whole new, inv- if I'm Leslie, I'm trying to think of it from Leslie's perspective. I'd be like, maybe we're just going to find a whole new environment. Like, if I'm Yeah, Leslie, I would just move, right? But, I mean, move to where, even if they move off of the coast to the Midwest where things might be a little bit cheaper and then hoping that she'd be able to have... Where the uh, opioid mm-hmm. epidemic started. Yeah, but yeah. Exactly yeah. it would be harder for her to get it, though, because like, no. in the town, she knows everybody. She could easily get drugs. Now right. she's going to a different place where she doesn't know anybody. She's going to have to work hard you to get find, drugs have you, yeah, ever, you will find drugs but you have to work hard to get no, it no, no. i don't know i i don't feel like moving will be a drugs solution like themselves. what about gia why would gia has to go through so leave her friend's system mm-hmm. her support system to go somewhere else again that will push her to the edge it's like okay the only way i'm gonna get attention is being like doing being like, like yeah i mean yeah. i'm not saying that it's a perfect solution i'm just thinking of if the reason why I was thinking she should move is because maybe she can move to a place that has a lower cost of living and then have the money to be able to put her in rehab. Because otherwise, she's going to have to get an extra job. Yeah. I don't know, like, what mom's going to have to yeah. do to find the money. Like, this isn't Breaking Bad. You know I mean, she's not going to fucking sell the best quality meth in order to get her kid into rehab. Yeah. Like, <laughs> she just doesn't have the money to do this. She doesn't have the resources. Like, she's about to be put up against a very hard wall. Mm-hmm. And, like, what the fuck do you do? True. I, but I also just think like with moving, I don't know how much support, how much family they have or whatever kind of support system they have, but they will just not have any. And that could push them more to the edge when they need help. There's nobody to give them help without just without financial repercussion. Like there's other kind of support that you need that you have that community built in that you don't have when you move somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we can assume this is like a small town in California, right? Yeah, so yeah. I was kind of figured it. Like when uh, she left, she took the train to uh, LA, LA or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I yeah, I, you know, yeah. I have hope. I have hope for Rue now. Um, let's see how the next two episodes go. If the next two episodes she goes downhill, then fuck her. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's jump to Cat. Cat, you're terrible. Cat, cat, yeah, cat, cat, yeah. I don't know. What Everybody happened. was kind of just like super toxic, and like the one person who wasn't, often, toxic. surprisingly, is Maddie. Huh. Yeah, because I, I feel like Maddie is the most like honest with herself, mm-hmm. where she's just like, okay, I know I'm fucking crazy and unhinged, and I will get violent if I have to, but that's who I am. Yeah. And everybody else is like, no, I'm good. I'm good. Mm-hmm. And has to convince the whole world that they're good while they're being so fucking bad. What's that yeah. thing you say? You turn into the five people you hang out with the most? I mean, mm-hmm. look at who Cat runs with. That's true. But I, I expected different from Cat. I don't know why. I just did. Um, and I don't know if it's just... I don't know what happened. This was... I felt really unexpected from her. Mm-hmm. So I think... So Cat... I'm sorry. I, I did hear some, like, back ground gossip about the actress being very problematic on set. Cat? Yeah. Oh. And that they were basically trying to like get rid of her as a character. Mm. Because she's just like really hard to work with so they like kind of butchered her character in the end. I can still follow a through line though. Yeah. Yeah. Because like with so she was having those daydreams about call drugo types and all this and that, right? And yeah. she was like, Elliot, essentially she thought Elliot was going to be good for her. She started dating Elliot Ethan. and Ethan, my bad, and couldn't admit that like he wasn't good for her, right? Like they weren't working out. She wasn't happy. She wasn't getting what she wanted. But she also recognized that he was a good person. And then that shit flipped in her head. And she's like, well, I must be a bad person. I don't want this or that. And instead of confronting that and breaking up with him, then she did the teenage thing where she just stuck around until it got way bad. And then... But, I mean, but why did she had to be the bad person to do? Because she, she wouldn't have been. If she would have just been like, I'm not into you yeah. because I'm not into you, that would have been fine. Yeah. But instead of that, she stuck around, lingered around until she started treating him shittily. Yeah, I just, mm. I, I can, I, I don't know. I, I inclined to believe that maybe they were just writing her off because she was a horrible, like, not a good actor. 
actress to work with, which kind of also feels weird. It was like, I'm sorry, Kat, you're not Zendaya, so why are you causing trouble on the set? <laughs> um, I don't know how many um, roles that she has done, but it just, I don't know, her character, I see what you're saying. It doesn't make sense in my head. Okay. It doesn't make All sense right. in I my mean, head for her to do that. It makes sense to me still. Like, the way they're writing her off is still making sense to me because teenagers are stupid like that. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I mean, you, this is something you learn. Like, you have to make your own mistakes. That even includes, like, breaking up with someone in, like, the shittiest way possible and then being like, ah. Because and one month later, you're like, oh, yeah, I, I, I did that wrong. <laughs> Four years later, you're like, oh, I was a coward and yeah. I figured it out. Which but, is, yeah. you know, deep down the line. I'm glad Ethan was smart enough to be like, you want to break up with me? I'm fucking done. I'm gone. And now, good for him. Good yeah. for him to just be yeah, like, I'm walking away. Because Cab would have just turned into more... It would have it would have just been a weird, toxic thing yeah. at that point. Uh, what is the lady with the camera that has caught Maddie wearing her dress is going to do? I, that's, it would, I don't know. I'm not a lady. If uh, Would you guys be mad if you know. found the babysitter was wearing your clothes? Mm, kind I don't of know dress if up. she's like checking that camera but I mean they zoomed in on it they zoomed it off camera yeah. Yeah. to figure out something about it it was odd and she never brought it up so I don't know if it's gonna something come up later but my question was if the babysitter was trying on your clothes like how upset would you be if I, I, would I, be I wouldn't upset. yeah I, I guess for me if I if I had that kind of house and I had a babysitter my main concern would be somebody stealing instead of somebody trying on my yeah. clothes and putting away and especially if I didn't have camera and they like, you will know if somebody has gone through stuff. And, like, if it's neatly put it, it's fine. Um, I won't be too big of a problem. But I think the camera for me would essentially be nobody stealing it and doesn't look like Maddie's stealing anything. So I'm like, that's fine. If you want to play house, go play house. Yeah. So um, I feel like, I mean, I don't know, but this is my dirty mind, but I feel like she's going to catch that camera and she'll be like, okay, I found this now. You're going to have to fuck me. Otherwise, I'm going to tell everybody about this. What? Yeah, I'm going to tell everybody you were wearing my dress <laughs> if you don't eat my yeah. pussy right now. Because <laughs> I thought that's where they're leading oh, it to when they went to the post scene. Yeah, but it, no. the, the way I will look at it, like, she's 17, so they... 18. Oh, mm-hmm. she's 18. Mm-hmm. Oh, but I mean, Drew is 17, so is Drew everybody is. else is 18? I no, 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 because uh, Maddie, while the lady was talking to her, she was like, if you were dating men like oh, this yeah, in your 40s, also, but you're Also, didn't, 18, didn't so. they also say something like that, that in, like 17 is not, a, it was of legal age? I mean, we'd have to f- figure out where they live at and see what the fucking I law thought that's, is. I thought that's said in the show. It's that, 18. But I also don't want to have to Google that. Anyway, yeah. regardless is that some of the, they're all seniors. Some of them are 18, some of them are 17, yeah. I think. Yeah. So I don't know. Just like, I think, well, I guess it would It'd be totally legal would be, for them to fuck. It'd be weird. Yeah, it'd be weird. I don't Guys, know. that's not going to happen. Yeah. You know I mean? it, she was giving a weird vibe. She was giving my vibes. Let me yeah. and Pat hope. They were in the pool together. Yeah. They were all close. She was like, I fuck my best friend's friend. And next, I'm going to fuck out. Even in like, the last I, episode when she was like, can you come like unzip me or exactly. something? Like, it just, yeah, it felt cool flirty. Weird. It felt weird. And just for her to just be like, oh, yeah, let's be in a pool and drink. Like, she's a teenager. Like, are you just going to be okay Ooh, She's with an it? adult. She can but go to at war. at night... Like drinking with your babysitter at night, who's not of age, and she's gonna have to—is somebody picking her up? Oh no, she drove she herself. Drove herself. That part's bad. She is of age. I'm not condoning this. I'm just saying that, like, Google fucking babysitter, and see what all the things say because it's a thing that happens. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's the point of the camera. I, I don't know if the camera is just there. Um, Maybe it's to say she's been known that she's been changing her and just hasn't said anything about it. She's been letting her do it so she can watch the fucking camera like a weirdo. Maybe, maybe, maybe everybody's into. Maybe all the adults are into recording no, shit. I don't get it. Um, <laughs> That's yeah. a point. But I think it was a good discussion for them to have at least in the pool. Like, mm-hmm. hey, um, I like for her to say like I've done something like this. We never were friends. Also, you're 18. None of this is gonna matter. None of it. Like it's that you're gonna grow up. You're gonna like the problems that you think are problems right now are not a major problems. I'm just shocked that like season one, I really liked Cassie. Yeah. Kind of disliked Maddie. Yeah. I really like Cat, and it's all flipped now. And everything's changed. Yeah. I kind of <laughs> like Maddie. I'm like sympathizing when to her. <laughs> everything's changed when Nate attacked. <laughs> yeah. So Maybe the moral of the story is that teenagers change so drastically. That's uh, true. Like mm-hmm. life changes, teenagers change. But I do feel <sighs> bad for Maddie. Just Nate, for fucking sake, coming in with a gun. He was like, it was a joke. What were you thinking? 
joking. Like it's not a joke. I mean, well, he knew he exactly pull, what he was he, doing. I'm not trying to defend him, uh -huh. but he did pull pull all the bullets out. So it think, doesn't matter. He took it out, it and then matter. I think he put back in to did play. Did he put one back in? Yeah. He, nah. he told her there was none, but I think he did put one in. Even if and he then, didn't, even if there were blanks, she thought it was. Yeah. But he's no. But he's he he poured it all out. So this mm -hmm. was this was what I was thinking about Maddie when she was getting freaked out. She saw all the bullets fly out, and they closed the gun up. So I'm like, there's no bullets in there. So then why is she getting so freaked out? That's why because I thought that he, he put one in. He made it seem like he was about to play Russian roulette with her. When there's a gun in your face with a person that's unhinged, maybe you're not exactly counting how many bullets are taken out of the gun. Yeah. It doesn't. It's not on her. If he made her think that there was an extra gun, bullet in the that's gun, earlier. then oh, it, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like... If I came, if I have, if I come in here, if I rob you with an empty gun, it doesn't matter that the gun was empty. Well, because I, no, no, no. I, I, I wouldn't know if it's empty. So, yes, I get you that. But Maddie saw him empty the gun. So, I'd be like, in my mind, I'd be like, if I was Maddie, I'd be like, oh, he emptied the gun. I, There's this, yeah, this, Maddie's yeah, thought, hysterical because he's got a gun pointed at her. She thinks she's going to die. She's not counting the bullets. Yeah. Only thing she sees is the gun. She's not paying attention to what's happening. Yeah, and I really thought that he put one in, even if he took it out. I hear what you're saying, Pat. Like, if somebody is pointing a gun at me, right, and they pretend to like, put it out, there might be one in the chamber. First of and then second of all, why do you even have a gun? Yeah. That's just a matter of you That's, having a gun and it's been a threatening situation. Yeah. It's anything gonna be scary. The fact that we are rewatching this because we are not sure means that Maddie didn't see shit. <laughs> yeah. We were just rewatching the scene of Nate confronting Maddie with the gun and like trying to see when he took out the guns without me going too far. But and then look, and then, right here. Yeah. He's I, hiding it, but he's did hiding he put it. one in there? But he pretended that he was putting one in. I, I Maybe he did put one in, maybe he didn't, but he made it. He made it look like he did. He made it she thinks like there's a bullet in that gun right now because he literally yeah, just I mean, mined I mean, that action. If you think there's a bullet in there, then it's fucked up. So, I, I mean, mean, it's fucked up regardless. Making, I mean, he's making it look like there's a bullet in there. He's I mean, for me, for me, like, so the way I looked at it was like, if I was in her shoe and like, I didn't see it that way, if, if I... If I didn't know there was a bullet in there, it is fucked up because I don't know because it's fifty fifty. I mm -hmm. didn't know, and that is fucked up that you're doing. But I saw if if I saw you dump all those bullets out, I'm not gonna be as freaked out. But like, but would you if you were Maddie? Would you have called his bluff? No, 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 no. Look, look at it. Look at it here. Like he took it all out and then he pretended. Well, like now, now I'm looking in. back at. It, I see it. I yeah, see okay. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. question is: Is would you have if you were Maddie? If you were in Maddie's shoes, right, and you saw that he emptied the gun. Right. Let's like, skip he, this part. Skip this part completely. Would you have called his bluff? Would you have been like, you know? Yeah, right. if you have the guy, I called his bluff because I saw like, all the not... bullets on the ground. Okay, so the guy who came in with a gun who can physically overpower you, regardless, and put more bullets in the gun, has a gun on your face in your bed in your room, and your move is to not give him the DVD that doesn't belong to you that you don't give a fuck about, and to literally be like, you ain't gonna fucking shoot me. Because I saw, because him, you I saw him empty all those bullets. What do you win in the end other than a bullet in the matter. face? I'm curious to it, know what Pat thinks he's going to do in this situation. I want to know how he's going to get out of this. Because I'm going I'm to overpower. I'm going to try to get the fuck out of there. But You're a 90-pound girl. Nate okay, well, weights every you day. You said me. You said what well, I was going to do this You are Maddie in that situation, obviously. And there's a guy in your room who didn't say well, a word. Well, if I'm Maddie, then it's a different story. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you're Maddie. So what do you do? You give him what he wants and yeah. he leaves. And it's Nate and like whatever. And he, who knows? He maybe has something else. Even if he doesn't have, maybe he will hit me with the gun and just like <laughs> knock the fuck suck. out of me. Like, yeah. it's, it's a situation where it could go either way and you don't want to say anything to trigger this guy who's clearly on the verge of Fucking a unhinged. breakdown. Yeah. yeah. So he's like, He's and his. He came to my room. I didn't know. I don't care. He just needs to go. Just That's go. the point I was getting at. Yeah, like yeah. It, it doesn't matter even if he had, didn't have a gun. There was an anime that I was watching a long time ago. It's called Detective Q. Um, and there's two people get in a fight, and he overtakes them, and then he like puts something in his on his throat, mm -hmm. make it look like it was um, a knife. knife, whatever. It goes off, and then they're like, "Oh, well, was it a knife or not?" It was like just literally a plastic spoon that mm. he found but in a situation it looked like it was a knife he was able to scare the person and the situation dissolved so it doesn't matter it's just a matter of situation how you bring something like i can point something in behind you and it's not a gun but it could feel like it's a gun i don't care i want to get out of that situation yeah um, like there it is i thought i i mean there's no redeeming qualities in nate for me <laughs> no. whatsoever but the one thing i thought that uh, was truthful about him at least was his love for Maddie. I truly believe that he loved her despite how toxic both of them were to each other. Mm -hmm. But now 
him doing this to her and bringing this much fucking stress and like threat into her bedroom mm -hmm. he even fucking like groped her titties one more time just for the feel of it before he left it was awful. that was disgusting like he didn't love her he never loved her because you couldn't be doing this shit to somebody you loved i mean my guy's just out here to burn bridges and i don't trust or believe in anything about him he's absolutely fucking disgusting and Whoa. i hate him this is the worst character ever. what about uh the situation where him and his mom were drinking that was that weird. shit was great that, that was, was great. that was deeply unsettling that was Marcia like is fucked first, up. Yeah, that was fucked up because she was drinking with her son that early don't you know like first off why is my son drinking this early and second she was spit like she was spitting good facts about him but she could have done that before yeah you she's know? an awful she, parent like, like, yeah, like you already knew that she was getting fucked up. So then, why did you not get him help? Even though you said Cal. But didn't maybe want. she did, and Cal didn't. He, she said that Cal didn't. Cal didn't want it, but she's also a parent too. Yeah. yeah. But how many situations? Maybe she was also scared of Cal because then Cal is essentially Nate. Yeah. So Cal is essentially like Nate, and then maybe she didn't. I don't know what. Clearly, she doesn't work. Um, and then he does. He supports it. I'm not sure what their really situation is because sometimes in a domestic abuse relationship, when it's like just verbally, you don't. People say you can leave. Maybe you can't really leave a situation. So yeah, maybe, I'm, I just think she did a bad job. Like, sure, she's going mask off and just being like, "Yo, I'm about to say the exact same things that I feel about you." And he did need to get called out on some of that shit, especially the anger thing. Mm -hmm. But also, she's not serving to make any of the situation better and in that moment she's being a bad mom dad's gone i understand that you're fucking sad and that you're gonna drink about it but like and you just laughed about admitting that one of your kids is an idiot you're a shit parent both y'all are shit parents you're over here trying to yeah. fucking yep. monday morning quarterback and figure out how things went wrong yeah. the truth is is that she called it she 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 fucking nailed it on the head when she was like something happened to you when you're around eight or nine and it made you fucking dark and it's because that's when he started watching the dvds from his mm -hmm. dad which is true right and so there you go that's why everything's fucked up now we got the answer but like even if you'd have had the information at the time would he have still gotten this far would he have still been this bad like <sighs> Instead of trying to make things better, she's just trying to have an open, honest conversation and call shit out. But, like, that's not going to help. But, and then later on that day, he goes to put a fucking gun on the girl that she's like, I would have choked her, too. Like, your whole entire family's fucked. Like, yeah. the problem is the roots. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, don't, I don't like that she's kind of, like, stripping herself from her part of the responsibility because they were still two parents mm -hmm. and they were both raising these kids. And, like, she is kind of like acting right now as if Cal was the only parent who fucked shit up. But clearly, you didn't do two. anything to mm -hmm. help the situation. So you're to blame as well. Yeah. I, I, everybody I, this episode just pissed me off so yeah. much. I, 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 it was good to hear from Marshall's side that she was aware there was something wrong. There was something wrong with Nate that Nate changed. And... The it made part. me feel worse. <laughs> the so, fact that she knew. So the part where she knew and she mentioned that she wanted to do therapy and Cal was completely opposite against mm -hmm. it. Now, I don't know about, again, I don't know about their background. I'm coming from like the brown people or brown, brown relationships that I've seen. Most of the time when if there is a mom saying something, this is what we need and they don't have the financial independence to do so, and the dad is the only one who can say yes, and they don't agree that there's anything wrong with the mental health, there's no mental health issue going on, and we're not gonna get that stigma or traumatized, sometimes they never get help because there's only so much can do because the stigma is such a big deal. And now we can say it, now everybody's woke, like now we all understand this, I think we'll be different parents, but it's very different situation. and. I have seen this happen, so I know a lot of families where kids definitely need help and the parents will not, or one of the parents or the dads will always be opposite against it. They're like, no, it's a mental stigma. There's nothing wrong with my kid. No. Actually, there's nothing wrong with my kid. Mean, Never bring this up again. I definitely, I mean, that's 100% true. Like, yeah. I, I mean, I've seen it in my own family. But like, I, I think the whole point is that the mom knew that he was a good person, like a good child, something changed and something happened. And even though Cal said, hey, we can't get mental health, and they don't get health issues, yeah. but mom sat on it for a long time, but 
that was the day she decided to have this conversation with him. Drunk For, in the kitchen in the morning. Yeah. It was like, let's, okay, you know your son's fucked up. I can't get mental health help. Okay, maybe as a mom, I'm going to help you with your problems and work this out and talk this out with you instead of maybe getting a professional because your dad said no to a professional since your mom knew that there was an issue. Right. I mean, if you know there's something issued, do you, are you do you have the capacity to be a therapist? Well, no, no, but no, she was a stay at home mom. She could read she, a book she, or she, she was, she was, but, like, but, but but she could have been a mom, like about it. Like these anger issues didn't happen. But not like, everybody can be a mom. But uh, she, she, like, what is the being a mom? Like she was home all the time. She saw all this stuff. She could have probably she played. She made the connections in her head. She never had the communication to her son. Hey, I made these connections in my head. What's going on? Or anything like that in the time span before the very yeah. end. I mean, it could be that she's very scared of Nate as well. Like she said that you I have anger is. issues. I mean, she's and been, she was trying to bring it up. She, I think she had alcohol courage to have this I, conversation. Then, she would have never had this conversation otherwise. She had alcohol courage, and even then, she was just on the surface. Even Nate was like, "I think you're saying something that you're not trying to say," and she was saying something but not trying to say it. But she knew if she said it the anger that Nate was boiling up could be directed toward the mom. And where does that leave her then? Because she's in her house. At first, she, her, his anger was toward Cal. Cal is gone. Now, if his anger is toward her, how is she going to handle it? She well, pulled the absolute trump card of, I will, what did she say? She said, I'll clean this bitch out. She was, yeah. like, don't choke, she was like, don't choke me like you did Maddie because I'll fucking clean I'll this bitch out. Which is, one, an appropriate thing to say, but two, also not great. Once again, look, I don't know what they could have done. I don't know I, how they could, how I, yeah. they got this far, but I do know that it's Thanks like, if you have a, if you, if you have a dog that can grow up to be a vicious dog, you should be training and giving that dog all the proper love and training when they're little puppies while you got the chance. Mm -hmm. Nate used to be a little puppy. Nate used to be a sweet little eight year old boy before he became a giant threatening fucking train. man. Yeah. And right then and there, when they had the chance to do something, all I know is that her and Cal both failed him mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. flat out. Yeah. But I, I, I personally think that Cal, Cal was much worse because he was such a, aware of his public appearance that he, there's no way he would put his kid in therapy. Mm. Uh, just and no way that he will say it out loud until now that he's gay. Or what bisexual about? Yep. Or other things until he had to pee on the floor, which nobody, <laughs> which nobody cleaned up. Still, what about Keith Gergo? Who? Cassie and Andor. Come on, Chris. Oh, my God. Cassie, Cassie. and Andor. Cassie? Oh, my God. Keith, Keith Gergo. Cassie. Oh no. What the hell, Cassie? I just, I don't know. She's, I don't know. She's brain dead. I don't like her anymore. Yeah. I, I, she's, she's, she reminds me of, the, oh, like, you know how they portray girls back in the, back, back in the day, like, very clueless, like the show Clueless? Yeah. She reminds me of her, a clueless. Like, like, clueless she's, like, she's, she's going to listen to someone's word word for word like she's like when they said i love you she said i love you back just like like get the he ignored 34 your fucking phone calls mm -hmm. she is in love with him and then he mm. just called pack your bag we pack your bag i no love question. you like and, come on and, yo and then she tried to fight him when she's in his house like what are we doing here Cassie? sue's also uh not a super great mom but she's doing all right she, she's doing okay very much okay but the hiding the knife thing hilarious Hilarious and dark. When she's in there with us, she was like, see, I told you with the fucking corkscrew. But she just kept leaving the room, going, crying, coming back in and saying absolute wild shit. And I'd be like, like, I feel, I don't know what more Sue's could have done, right? Mm -hmm. but at hiding, this point. Hiding the, hiding the, hiding the knives was, knives. that's pretty much the, probably the best she could have. I don't know what she could have done all the way by this point, because it feels like, once again, like Cassie needed a good mom and good parental figures back in the day and didn't have those now. But um, with mean, her, her just mom, being like, I'm just going to literally let you figure this fucking shit out seems to be maybe the best bet for Cassie because she's not listening to anybody. Everybody's get, telling her real shit. Mm -hmm. She's just like, well, I think what is um, fuck, what were we watching when they were like, uh, she was like, well, I didn't like technically sleep with Maddie's boyfriend. I was like, that technically only makes you feel good. Like, yeah, it's, li um, it's literally only making you feel good. It was it was in this euphoria. Nate was like Nate. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nate was like that's just you were rationalizing yourself. Yeah, it's yeah. only it's like it's making you feel good. good. No one else is going to give a fuck. And then she yeah. tried to pull this here, and everybody was like, it's the principle. Like no one cares. And she's just trying to like victimize herself and have everybody feel sad for her. But it's mm -hmm. like you put yourself in this position, and now you're bitching about it when you really need to nut the fuck up and figure out what the mm -hmm. fuck you're gonna do. Yeah. And instead of doing any of that, she quadrupled down, and yeah. is now with Nate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's just. Who is going to eventually just toss her on the street like mm -hmm. garbage and she's not going to be able to go back to Maddie. She's probably going to be able to go back home because he's still a fucking child. But yeah. 
Hey. I mean, and she was right about the thing that she said to Alexi. It was like, you got to drop Rue because she treats you like shit. But, like, sure, that's one friend. She has one friend that treats her like shit. But, like, straight up, like, what about yeah. literally any of the things you're doing with your life? Like, you can't. What's the, what's the saying? The check saying? Say it. Say it. What? I'll say it. She's got a mouth full of shit and no good deeds. <laughs> mouth full of shit and no good deeds. Um, it was. I was trying to. Uh, Cassie said something that made me do a comparison between. Gia, Rue, Leslie, and Sue, Lex, Lexi, and Cassie. Cassie. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, it's kind of a similar dynamic that two sisters, the father figure is gone, mm -hmm. um, and, and, and Rue is getting uh, addicted but instead of uh, the Sue's, 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 is that her name? I think her name is Susan, but everybody calls her Susan. Sue's. Susan, like, she's getting, she's also addicted on, like, that she's using mm -hmm. um, some something like wine to keep her under wraps or keep mm, her she's sane. She's an alcoholic. She's an alcoholic. And then Rue and Cassie essentially, yeah, dissed out horrible things on their younger sibling and just left the room. Cassie was kind of having a low, low key, same kind of a draw that Rue had in the last episode. Yeah. Coming yeah. back in, yelling at them, and then leaving, and then coming back and yelling at them and leaving. Oh my God. I, I still I don't get why did she would yell at her parents? What what did her parents Because she wanted her parents to believe that she did nothing wrong. To and to comfort her, to be like, Oh my god, baby, it's so you're it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. You have to write that fuck our boyfriend. You okay, know, I thought oh, she was mad know. because they did something wrong. Oh no. no. Okay. No. They're mad at they're both mad at her and her response is to get back mad at them instead of like she's not owning her shit. She's being a fucking kid, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she because Cassie thinks she did nothing wrong because they were yeah. not boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. And that's just a technicality. Turn, right? <laughs> In the court of law, it turns out that no one yeah. gives a fuck. It's it's a matter of principle. You fuck your best like friend. Like Ben said. Yeah, mm -hmm. just like either way, like even if they were not dating their ex boyfriend, you don't fuck your best friends, whoever they dated, yeah. especially when it's a serious relationship like that. Or it's seriously toxic. Um, so lastly, we have Fez and Lexi. Ah, so they are in danger over oh, uh, that thing. Mouse's murder. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm sorry, but there's society is doing better now because Mouse is gone. <laughs> I feel like justice was served. What's uh, Cluster's on. name? Cluster. Hmm? Cluster. Ashtray. Custer. Custer, Custer my bad. Custer. Well, he's such a Cluster. clusterfuck. He said, he told uh, an <laughs> old girl whose name I also forget. He was like, Faye. I'm gonna, Faye, he was Faye. like, I'm going to come back in and I'm going to talk with them about something. And like, you just need to stay out of it. I think he's going to try to catch Fez on a wire. Yeah. Being yeah. like, Yes, I killed Mouse. I did it last week with a fucking hammer. We buried him at 3535 West Cornfield Lane. Exactly. And like, I feel like he's just going to be like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and fucking Ashtray's going to be like, you should probably leave, man. Like, no, like, fuck no. We're not about to dis... There's no... If this murder has happened and everything's put away where it needs to be, we're not talking about this shit. We're not talking about this shit ever again. I don't, I'll talk about this shit with me, myself, and I. I don't know what the fuck you talking about, bro. Like, I think he's going to come in on that shit and they're just going to be like, yeah, nah. <laughs> That was funny when Cluster was like, I'm not cooperating with the cause. <laughs> I, <just, laughs> I, I, I don't know what that word means. I'm just helping him. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing. Yeah. I was like, bro. Oh my God. Well, how about this? this? Hilarious. Why don't you guys cooperate with that subscribe button? Yes. Yeah. Click it. Why don't you cooperate mm. with that like button? Click it. Cooperate with the comments. Talk with us. Hey. Tell us what you All just right. think. We're yeah. watching the next two in one city. Hey, man. Yes. Lexi and fucking Fez needs to fucking hook up by the end of the season. Yes. It would be so cute. All right, All right guys. We'll Bye. see you guys. Bye. Bye. I'm so scared. scared.